Hi, it's been a while since we last had an episode of Edify. In this video, I share my thoughts about discipline. Discipline is often mistaken for punishment. But from the good book in Hebrews 12, 6 in the New Living Translation, the two words are used in the same sentence, not interchangeably, implying they carry different meanings. For the Lord disciplines those he loves, and he punishes each one he accepts as his child. The English rendering of the word discipline indeed has punishment as one of the synonyms. I do think that the negative connotation of the word has been overemphasized and applied. Let's look at the comparison of the two words. We will look at the application and the meaning of each word. Discipline refers to a method of training to follow rules to regulate behavior towards the society and environment. Punishment, on the, on the other hand, implies imposing penalty as a payback for the wrongdoing in the past, in the hope that the same behavior is not continued in the future. What discipline does, it, pre it presents you with a choice, but punishment demands compliance. Discipline involves learning from mistakes and instilling obedience. Punishment involves paying for mistakes and correcting disobedience. Discipline is used to teach to obey rules or polish behavior. Punishment, on the other hand, is used to fix behavior. Discipline calls or it inspires learning acceptable behavior. But punishment incites fear of the consequences of unacceptable behavior. Discipline is positive, punishment is negative. Discipline is concerned with what needs to be done. Punishment, on the other hand, is concerned with what needs to be undone or corrected. In the long term, Discipline helps the trainee to incorporate rules and hold themselves responsible for their behavior. But punishment calls for external control so the trainee can behave in the right manner. Overall, discipline builds esteem, but punishment lowers esteem. Today, I want to demystify the notion that discipline is an ugly word. Discipline is not an ugly word. It is the most creative force that gives you a competitive advantage over others. Discipline isn't competitive in nature, but it is what wins you a competition. Every elite athlete goes through rigorous training regimens to get into shape for any competition. The training usually happens in the secret, in a cowboy private gym or somewhere away from the limelight and, and from the cheering crowds. Winners don't start winning in the final. Winners don't need motivation to win. They need discipline. Winning begins from the place of discipline. Without discipline, there is no advantage. Motivation will get you started, but it's discipline that will keep you going and get you to the finish line. When you push yourself beyond the limits, that discipline will push you to the summit. Moreover, no discipline is enjoyable while it's happening. It's painful, but afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. In our quest for success, we will either suffer the pain of discipline or the pain of regret or failure. Your Edify scripture for reflection today is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5 to 12. This is what it says. And have you forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons? My son, 
Do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be wary when reproved by Him. For the Lord disciplines the one He loves and chastises every son whom He receives. It is for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? If you are left without discipline, in which all have participated, then you are legitimate children and not sons. Besides, we have had earthly fathers who disciplined us and we respected them. Shall we not much more be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time as it seemed best to them, but he disciplines us for our good, that we may share his holiness. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees.